Hello lovely people, my name is Eva and today I'm doing a flip through for my May-June bullet journal spreads. So we have May where I was kind of playing around with fonts and these fun little kind of fan and flowery things. Nice and simple because I really don't have much time to do bullet journaling at the moment. We're going to get into that at the very end. So we have my monthly calendar. Um, I really enjoyed the font as just a side note. Then we have my YouTube tracker and I went for it down the middle, kind of ideas, schedule, etc, etc. Uh, my book journal, classic Dutch door, you know the drill, Springathon TBR which was deeply unsuccessful and then some courses I was thinking about doing in May online um, and basically I did very few of them. Um, oh and hey bunny, hi darling, anyway. Um, so yeah I kind of took a month off from doing any of the online course stuff that I've like optional online course stuff I've been doing for veterinary nursing um, so yeah just sort of I'll probably jump back in with that in June at some point we have a general to-do list page another general to-do list page which I called notes and then I'd left myself space when I started doing the planning for June so today this morning I just finished it off by filling it with these really really big fans which I kind of enjoy I think this would look amazing as a wallpaper or as a dress so that's a complete side note and then we come to June and this is actually going to be the last flip through that I do for quite a while because I've kind of realized that I just don't have the time to do bullet journaling in the way that I want to or the way that I have previously done and I think that I just need to drop one of my hobbies so I have a little bit more time for my other hobbies and I think bullet journaling is going to be the one that it like brings me the least joy at the moment it's the one that's hardest to fit in so I'm gonna stop and I realize this um, because I basically I started playing around with some watercolors because I've been using them for um, some embroidery projects at the moment and I decided to do like a puppy thing and I got this far and I didn't really enjoy doing any of it and I felt very uninspired and then so I'm still gonna be bullet journaling in the sense of I'm gonna be still using this but I'm just gonna go for like super basic font and line work stuff which I've been kind of gravitating more and more towards everything's been getting get more and more simple with every passing month and I think it might just be time to kind of back off a little bit and just use it slightly more functionally so I've gone for this quite fun sort of autumnal vibe thing even though it's June because hey ho who cares um, and I thought the quote be kind to yourself really encapsulated what I'm now trying to do with this bullet journal and I'm just going for a super blocky font that I've done before with a quick drop shadow that is really easy to do now because I've done it quite a few times and just some simple line work so we have the cover page we have a really simple June calendar we have a super simple YouTube tracker and we have a book journal with two Dutch doors because it's definitely a format that I enjoy we have a course tracker that I will fill in and then a to-do list another page for some notes and another page for a to-do list and that's probably all I end up needing in June and I just yeah I think it might be time to just start doing simple things like this so my current plan for July is to do something very similar but with just a slightly different colour palette. I might change up the font a little bit, but there will be very basic fonts that I've done before, and I'll use something like a quick drop shadow, or maybe like a line through or something, just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. So there is still vaguely something going on, because it's still fun to play around with colours, but I'm not doing these like doodle heavy things that I've done previously, or like more intensely time uh, intensive ones. And especially not with this journal but like previously in some of my other journals when I had loads of time during lockdown or when I could do it at work with my job at the escape rooms or whatever and yeah it just I think I need to take a bit of a step back so because it's just gonna get super simple and super repetitive I'm gonna stop filming these flip throughs for a bit if in however many months time I end up doing more or if I have the odd really doodle heavy month or I get super back into it at some point I will happily jump on and show you again and maybe when I start actually doing like a nursing apprenticeship rather than just sort of the odd free online interesting course I might run through maybe like some of my study trackers or stuff if anybody would be interested in that please do let me know but it's all going to be along this very similar line of just like a basic colour palette and some funky font and that's about it so I hope you've enjoyed whatever bullet journals you've seen if you'd like to see any bullet journal content from me of like maybe some of my favorite spreads from the past two and a half years because I have been doing this now for quite a while um, it would be three years in August actually then I'm more than happy to do that 
just let me know in the comments down below or if you want any tips or anything then again I could do something to do with that but when it comes to actual new content in my journal it's gonna get very basic from this point on for a while so yeah so I hope that you enjoyed this and um have a wonderful reading week and I'll chat to you soon bye and you can have a bunny if you want look she's eating cardboard oh so tasty oh we love a good egg box anyway bye bye